Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So my gorgeous client Emma's come in after four weeks of having these boots on. As you can see, they're looking good still, but we have filed off and removed her old design and infilled with crystal glass from CJP. I'm also using their one, the one monomer and I did use it on her previous set. And as you can see, there was a very, very minimal lifting under those nails. There was a tiny little bit around the edges. Um, but these nails are really long and extreme kind of length. Well, not extreme, but they're long length. For, you know, they're long. They're long. <laughs> you know, I, I they're long. Anyway, um, so yeah, really minimal. I was so tough with the condition her nails were in. So I've removed all of her old design while as much as I could without snapping the nail. I've infilled with crystal glass. And then I'm using Orchid from CJP and then this pink glitter. I don't know if it's called Pink Haze. I really don't. I think it's called Pink Haze, but it's from Sonia Williams. And I'll leave the link in the description box to her website as well as the CJP website. So everything that I'm using here, you can go ahead and have a look at. I don't have any discount codes or anything. Um, but I will leave the links all in the link box. God, what is wrong with me? I've just literally ate a vegan salad, like a vegan patty salad from Subway. It's so nice. And now I can't talk. I've gone into a food coma. Okay, so on this ring finger, I'm using orchid and coconut milk. And I'm just going to do a marble down the whole entire nail. You can see some of that neon yellow left there, which is a bit obviously, you know, annoying. Um, but if I would have carried on filing and filing, I would have ended up hitting and snapping the nail off and... You know, it would really, it really annoys me when you're filing off all the way back down to the clear base. It's looking good, and then it snaps off because then you have to just re-sculpt, and it's just wasted work. So that's why you, there is some colour left on. Uh, but I always do try and file from underneath anyway, uh, with my little tiny e-file bit from Chrissy Pierce, and I go underneath and behind, and I take off like the natural nail ledge and take off some of that colour from underneath. So after I've done the marble, I'm going to go in with opal quartz and I'm going to place some of that along the like little lines following the marble. And I also am applying some little, oh no, it might be glitterati glare flare, I think. I don't know, some glitter anyway. <laughs> I'm just tapping that in and over. So like little lightning swatches of glitter. Then we're going to move on to the middle finger, which is going to be a Orchid and Amour Ombre. Now, these two colours blend perfectly together. They just are really sweet and pretty. And the set was, although the set's quite long and pointy and, you know, it's a bit extra, the design itself was really pretty. I thought it was really gorgeous. Um... I really, really loved this set of nails. So I'm building up the colour just with small beads. I'm not using big, massive beads. I don't want to bulk the nail up at all. Um, and then I'm going to come in with a more, and then I'm just going to blend that down onto the orchid. So I'm tapping it into the cuticle area and bringing down the front of that bead with the body of my brush to blend and then just blending it again. And there was just a little bit of an area where I wanted slightly more coverage with the more. So I'm just gonna take another bead, place it there and just cover that shadowed area. And then obviously when we come to cap this nail now, I will only use clear acrylic over that blend line. I won't cover the whole nail because it's just unnecessary. So on the index finger here, I'm just gonna do a glitter swoosh with that gorgeous pink glitter. It's absolutely stunning, so holographic. Just looks absolutely beautiful on the nail. Just tickling that in with the tip of my brush and a tiny bead of clear acrylic to place that down. I use like a patting, tapping, tickly motion with my brush here. I don't just place the big bleed on and then try and work with it. I really make sure the acrylic is flat and wet. So I'm not making a defined line or building any sort of ridge with the acrylic or glitter. I want it super, super flat onto the nail. And that's why I use that tappy, tickly, tippy motion with my brush. 
So on the thumb, I'm doing a little marble with a more coconut milk and orchid. I'm just going to do the cuticle area, get it nice and neat, and then place on some wet beads of orchid and coconut milk. And then just use the tip of my brush to marble them together. So you don't want to play with it too much because it will just turn up into a big, wet, sloppy, mixed mess and look not very good. So use it quite wet, but you be gentle with your brush and get it to a nice point and just really be soft to the touch. And then I'm going to apply some galactic flakes. Oh my God, someone's at my door. Okay, that was just the postman. Um, so I'm using these flakes. They, I can't remember what they're called. I don't know if they're called galaxy flakes or something, but these were from the Glitter Fairy and they're just like little holographic flakes with purple and they're just stunning. So I'm just sticking that on the thorn. And then when I'm done with the thorn, I'm going to go back and encapsulate all of the nails. So when I cap with my clear acrylic, I will use it quite wet. Not so that it's slopping everywhere, um, but just so it's more, like the clarity is nice. Um, and then I try not to play with it too much as well. So the less you pat it and push it around, the better. I always try and dunk my brush flat in my monomer dish to remove any air bubbles from my brush itself. So that if I do pat the acrylic, I'm not patting loads of bubbles into my clear acrylic. Um, yeah, so wetish beads and try not to play with it too much. So my motion goes, place it on the nail, I tend to tap, tap and swipe it down one side and then I tap, tap, swipe it down the other and then just gently pat it all into place. Making sure that I'm leaving like the, I'm not touching that bead at the cuticle area with the body of my brush, I use an angle so the tip of my brush is going behind the bead to protect it from the cuticle area and then I'll start using the body of my brush to kind of pull that bead down um, but leaving the apex, like the bulk at the apex so I'm not dragging all that product off and then having to go in with another bead to get my apex in place, if that makes any sense at all. So I filed, shaped, buffed them all and cleaned all the way the dust and now the best bit of every service is the top coat reveal. I just love these nails. Yep, I'm applying, apply, <laughs> I'm applying CJP, tack free top gloss to all of the nails, give a nice coat of this. I then cure in the lamp for 60 seconds, apply my cuticle oil and I've left a clip at the end for you to see the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and, you know, speak to me, talk to me in the comments. Um, and please subscribe if you're not already. It means the world. I love you all so much and I'll see you all again in my next video. Bye-bye.